What if I told you that Hank Aaron did steroids? What would you say about that whole idea about putting asterisks and keeping guys out and all that? Should we discount Babe Ruth's numbers because he never played against black or Latin players? Some of the greatest players? Let's no. discount that era and call that the white guy era. There's only one guy in this room here that's probably, unless someone in the audience is, wearing a Red Wings watch. That's right. And that would be Art Regner. Oh, yeah. So Red Wings yeah, It's rolling. the only one that works. Art, uh, You know what? But it stops the last two games of the... Oh. Oh. Are you tired of getting your local sports fix from talking heads at 6 and 11? Of course you are. The Detroit Sports Freaks think outside that little box, plus their heads are a lot bigger. Hank Aaron had the nerve to say, had the nerve to say at the hall at, the, at Cooperstown just recently, not just that, but it's impossible to hit 70 home runs in a season. It's impossible. Just like they said that it was impossible to break Ruth's yep. overall career record, and like it was impossible in the 60s for man to walk on the moon. I think next year, if it were the same series and Detroit played Pittsburgh, I think it could probably turn out the other way because the Red Wings now have something against the, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Guys who have a coach that they believe in, they'll, they'll play for, and they'll fight for. So that's where you can find the results right. about Jim Schwartz. Right. If guys are going to come out every Sunday and play hard, because this is Detroit. You want the unvarnished truth about players, coaches, and scandals from true sports freaks. And the problem, Rob, was with the players union, they were so worried about protecting all these guys that the guys who didn't do it, they're the ones who are getting screwed because everybody thinks that everybody was doing it. Matthew Stafford, the quarterback, has to make plays. He has to be the guy that wills it. Kelvin Johnson's great. He's not going to win you anything. It's got to be Stafford. So you've got to, and that's why I go back to blind faith again. You have to. It's imperative that what you have to do is, is you have to hope that they catch lightning in a bottle with their coach in this quarterback and suddenly they propel themselves from the abysmal pot of state. Right, I'm, so, you're I'm right. sick of winning nine games. Well, you know what? If you're going to go and, and, and shoot for the national championship, you have to get speed. Speed wins in college football. You have to completely change everything and that's what they're doing and you got to give it three or four years and then if it doesn't work, fine, get rid of it. But I think if you're getting the athletes that everybody says that they're getting, uh, then it'll work. And you I, can't just get two years and just I, because the old blues. The hell with it. And to rub it in your face to coach football, for four million dollars a year, I think at some point have a little tag. I just don't think this is the time or the place to be over the top, and I think his contract is over the top. Rob's advocating a economic cap. There you go. That's my freaking beat. There you go. The best freaking sports show on the planet. The Detroit Sports Freaks.